What is up here YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here today and it has arrived in the mail today. Spyro Reignited Trilogy guys. This is my childhood right here. I'd probably say Spyro the Dragon is probably the single most valuable game character in my life because he was the one that really made me love video games back when I was a kid. It was Spyro the Dragon and then I got into like Banjo-Kazooie on the N64 when I got that later on. Um, Crash Bandicoot, of course, which I actually have that coming in the mail as well, and I'll probably do an unboxing for that. But Spire the Dragon is just really one of my beloved video game characters. Um, he, he is like my Mario for most people. Um, and so when they were making this trilogy, I was just super excited from day one when I heard about it. And, you know, didn't get it right away, but... Now that, you know, the money is rolling in for the holidays at my job, I finally was able to grab it, and I figure I'll do an unboxing for you guys. I've already actually unpackaged it, so this is going to just be more what's inside. Um, probably not even going to be a big surprise, but, you know, I make these videos mostly for just, like, people that want to know what's inside the physical box. Go on, kitty. Um, because, you know, there's people out there like me still that like to buy physical media, so... Anyway, there's the front, um, and actually, it's a little bit of a side rant here. You'll notice right there that it says, requires content download. So apparently, there's only one game on the disc. If we flip this over here, um, the first Spyro the Dragon game is actually the only game on the disc. The other ones come from the internet. So this, like, really kind of pisses me off, if I'm being honest, because, like, what's the point? of buying a disc anymore if they're not even going to put the game on the disc. One of the reasons I like buying physical games so much is because like sometimes the internet's not around or it goes out or whatever and you can still play your games. The way the Xbox Live is set up now, if you own a game but you don't own it physical, it can't verify the online tag and so you just can't play it. I've had this happen with a couple games that I bought digital. I think Thief was a game that I bought digital and it like wouldn't let me play it. Um, the original Tomb Raider remastered, the, the Tomb Raider like from 2013 that they remastered, like I bought that one, I think it was called like the Definitive Edition. That one wouldn't work one time. So that's another reason why I'm such a huge advocate of physical media, um, especially when it comes to video games because, because um, sometimes you just don't have the internet. and so. What I'm wondering with this is that if I don't have the internet, am I only going to be able to play the first game? Like, it's just really stupid. But that's just a little side rant, and that's kind of a warning to you guys. Like, if you're going to buy the physical one, just keep in mind that it's not really all that important, I guess, for this game. If you want to buy the digital, just go ahead and do that, because you're probably going to need internet anyway. But as you can see, Relive the Adventure, three games and over. 100 levels to explore, experience epic challenges, stunning new animations and graphics. So what I've read is this is actually a remaster. This isn't just a, or I'm sorry, this is actually a remake, not just a remaster. They've completely remade these games from the ground up. And so let's just open this up here. Yeah, typical, you know, no manual. Every single unboxing video I make, it's like, <laughs> where's the manual? Sorry, I'm trying to straighten the disc out. There we go. So yeah, I mean, it's still a good looking disc. You know, I love having this on the shelf and you know, it's the sidebar and everything. It's a, it's a great looking game. I, I actually like that. They put his little icon down in the corner. But yeah, there you go guys, for what it is. For whatever it means, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Unboxing for Xbox One. What do you guys think about this game? I mean, what if you have you guys played it yet? Are you planning on getting it? What are your memories of Spire the Dragon? What is your favorite video game character memory period? I'd love to hear it in the comments. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And um, if you're a turning viewer, you know, as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. But as always, guys, this is Jigsaw0097. I will talk to you all later.